How's it going everyone? My name is Gabe and today I'm bringing you guys another video of how to remove the player offline on your scoreboard. Now this is an updated version for 1.20 on Bedrock Edition and if this video does help you out don't get to leave a like and subscribe. Let's try to get a thousand subscribers by the end of the month but you guys know I love my tutorials short sweet and simple so let's get right into the video. Now you're probably watching this video because you're having the issue where you're playing on a realm with your friend and you have a scoreboard made to show you guys as money or points and when your friend leaves it just shows this player offline on the scoreboard and it it's just very annoying. So I'm gonna show you guys how to get rid of that. So if you have a scoreboard already, just get rid of it. So to do that, do slash scoreboard objectives, remove and remove that scoreboard that you have already made. And now the right side of your screen should be blank. And now I'm gonna show you how to build the contraption. So you need some command blocks. So do slash give your name command underscore block and it'll pop up in your inventory. It's really simple to build. You just wanna stack three command blocks and make sure they're all facing the same way. And to know they're all facing the same way, just look at the arrows on the side of the blocks. As you can see, they're all facing upward. I'll get into the command block settings in a little bit. Going on to the right side, you're gonna just stack three more command blocks facing all the same way. And as you can see, this top command block is not facing the right way. So there's two arrows pointing up and the top one's pointing to the right. You wanna make sure that they're all straight. Now you wanna get your observer and you wanna to go to the side of this left side and you wanna place them so that the eyes are pointing at the other side. And then get your redstone comparator and place it just like this. Now we need to make our scoreboard. So to do that, you wanna do slash scoreboard objectives add and then type money display all lowercase and then after that do dummy and then hit enter and to double check you made it right do slash scoreboard objectives remove and you'll see that it says money display now you want to make another objective so slash scoreboard objectives add lowercase money dummy and then this is where you get creative where the scoreboard is going to show for me i'm going to do at a at l money so that will be shown on my scoreboard and to double check you made it correctly do slash scoreboard objectives remove and you can see that shows money and money display now we go to the command blocks the first one on the bottom left is going to be impulse unconditional needs redstone and you're going to type in a scoreboard objectives remove money display all lowercase just like how you made it and then the second command block above that is going to be a chain conditional always active and this one is going to say scoreboard objectives add money display all lowercase dummy and then this part was a customization of what your scoreboard is going to say so for me i did the at a at l money in all capital this is pretty much just a scoreboard objective you created not too long ago now on the top one it's going to be a chain conditional always active and the command is going to be scoreboard objectives set display sidebar money display now that the left side is done, you want to go to the bottom right. It's going to be a repeat, unconditional, always active. And this one is just going to be a test for at A. Really simple command. And then you'll see the redstone comparator light up. As you can see, it lit up. The one on top of it is going to be a chain, conditional, always active. And this command is going to be scoreboard players add at A money zero. And then the next command block is going to be a longer command, but it's going to be chain, conditional, always active. And then the command is going to be, it'll be execute at, at a run scoreboard players operation at P money display equals at P money. And that's it. Now you're going to add redstone dust to the middle of this contraption. And you'll see on the right side, it pops up money. And then it says my name with zero points. And if you want to give yourself money, do slash scoreboard players, add your name, money, and then an amount. As you can see, now I have a thousand money. Now, whenever a new player comes in, just like my second account, it'll show zero next to their name and automatically add them to the scoreboard on the right. And to give them money, you could do slash scoreboard players, add their name, money, and then how much money you want. So as you can see, I gave my second account 10,000 money. And when they leave, it shows player offline for one second and then it disappears. And that's how you make the player offline go away. Again, I really hope this video does help you guys out. If you have any problems, just comment down below and I'll try to help you out. Anyways, my name is Gabe and I'm out. Peace.